Okay, this is a quick uh, tip for anybody who has an Android device and who uh, feels the device is running a little bit slow or laggy. Um, this is just a quick uh, tip to help you speed up your device a little bit. Hopefully it works for you. Uh, this does not require root. So if you're, what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and go to settings. And you're going to scroll down to see developer options. If you do not see developer options, go into about phone and scroll down to you see build number. Whatever your build number is, go ahead and press that a bunch of times until it says you are now a developer. Now mine says no need, you are already enabled development settings, but yours will say, um, congratulations, you are now a developer or something along those lines. Once you're in developer options, you're gonna scroll down to you see animation scales. There'll be three of them. You're gonna see window animation, transition animation, and animator duration. All three of those by default are going to be set to 1x. Now you're probably not going to have as many options as I have. You're, you will probably have 1x, 0.5x, and off. Um, you can either set that to 0.5x, but I recommend go ahead and turn it in off. So go ahead and turn all three of those off. As you can see, mines are already off. And once you've done that, Go ahead and back out and get back into the settings main menu. Next, you're going to scroll up to you see storage. In storage, you're going to see something called cached data. Go ahead and hit that. And then you're going to see this will clear cache data for all apps. Go ahead and press OK to that. Now, just by doing that, and you can restart your phone if you want, but you shouldn't have to. But just by doing that, your device should feel a lot smoother and a lot snappier. Okay, like I said, this is a Nexus 5, and it's pretty good right now. Um, there's one more thing that you can do, and that's using an app called Clean Master. In Clean Master, you're going to see a few different things, but one thing you're going to see is junk files. Now, if you go to junk files, basically you're going to do everything that we just did um, through the storage where we said uh, clear app cache. But this does one more thing that the other way it doesn't do. If you have any folders that were created by applications, anytime you download an application, there's a chance that it'll create a folder to store data on, on your SD card. If you, for some reason, have uninstalled that application, that folder still remains on your SD card or on your device. So this will actually recognize if there's any folders on your device and you don't have an associated app with those folders and you'll get a message that says do you wish to clear obsolete apk folders and that'll clean up your storage a little bit now another thing that you can do is there's memory boost here but uh, i don't really recommend using memory boost um, that's like a task killer and android does a really good job of managing its task, um, regardless of what people say that, you know, you need a task killer, you need a task killer. No, you really don't need a task killer. The only thing that I would recommend is, is anytime you open up a bunch of applications, they're going to store in your, in your notification drawer like this. As you can see, I have clean master and settings in there. When you have a bunch of those um, added up in here, that can and will slow your device down. So I recommend either swiping them away, depending on which uh, um, device you're using. If you're using like a Nexus device and you have the soft keys, it's going to be at the bottom right. If you're using a Samsung device, it's going to be holding the physical home button until you see that pop up. And you can either swipe one away one at a time, or you can hit clear all if you have that option. Now, if you click keep that drawer clean, unless it's something that you need opened, but try to keep those cleared out. And if you set your animation scales, like I said, and uh, cleared out your app cache, your device should feel a lot smoother and a lot better. Like I said, this is a Nexus device, so I don't have any problems with it. Um, so it's nice and fast. But if you have an older device or a device that's just not running as well as you think it should, why don't you go ahead and give that a try? Uh, hopefully this video helps some of you.